guys, here he is. This is little buddy. He's been taking his trip down to my friends at the Rattlesnake Ranch this morning. He's headed in the box. Fixing to go with a little brown red little grave digger. He actually a little brown red grave digger crow. Caught real nice first. He's fixing to head that way. He's going to a new home. He's going to be a brood cow. He's a good boy. See, he wanted to get up and lap with me. But, uh, anyway, guys, I know you're going to enjoy him. He ain't quite finished with his moat yet. He's still got his streamers to go. Really ain't got his long tail feathers yet, but. There he is, classy little fella. Thank you for your repeat business, brother. I know you're going to enjoy him. Morning, guys. They're a little banged up. They're a little thin. But at least they're back home. We got them back, guys. want everybody to know this is the pearl they can hear. Spurs are cut a little too short for a tie cord. They didn't know what they were doing with them. But uh, they're in they're in good health still. They're a little thin, a little banged up, but uh, they're gonna be okay. And uh, the yellow legged one, I got them over here. That's the reason I got them is real three the threes I want. I can't get them out on cords right now because their spurs are a little too short. But uh, here they are. We got them back, and I want to tell everybody. You don't know how much I appreciate all the shares and the concerns. I think we had 180 something shares on my post on this. Gentlemen, this is working together. This is coming together. This is what we were meant to do as a fraternity. Y'all don't know the depth of my appreciation of you guys sharing this with all the advice, everything. Uh, you made this go viral. We got these roosters back. You, I can't express how much I thank you guys. And to my close friends here and that's close to me here at the house, I've been knowing some of you guys all my life. Man, uh, I'm forever grateful for your advice, for everything you did helping me get these roosters back. Uh, a lot of people might say, well, they're just roosters. Well, you know what? Uh, this is something that each of us put at least two years of our life into. We treat them better than most people do their kids. Uh, it's like losing a, a, a child when something like this happens. You don't know, you know, what their outcome is going to be. But we got them back. Uh, they're here at the house. They're safe. I went and got them about two o'clock this morning. Uh, I'm not going to get way into what, uh, happened. Uh, guy came and stole them stole the roosters uh all i'm going to say about that is i got the roosters back from him uh young people tend to do stupid things sometimes and stupid things can affect the rest of your life especially when it comes to fooling with his game foul or stealing in particular you don't steal if you want something you work for it and you buy it or you have it gifted to you through through your dedication to someone in their program. Don't ever steal. This is for the young kids out there looking at this. Uh, again, thank you guys. I appreciate these shares. If we, if we come together as a fraternity for these game foul in particular and for the legalization of game, uh, for, uh, sporting game foul, like y'all come together to help me get these two roosters back y'all know we'd be legal in about three days right i mean we had 167 to uh, it was either 167 or 187 shares on this thing in uh three days and uh and that's why we need to stick together every day on every issue that has to do with game time y'all guys are great i love all you guys thanks a million Y'all have a great day. I know I'm going to have one now. I'm fixing to take care of these boys. We're going to uh, do everything they need to have done to them to get them back the way they were. And uh, God bless you. Thank you. Afternoon, guys. Just hanging out with boys a few minutes. 
Sun peaked out a little while. Spend a little time out here in the rooster yard. Loving this life. A little more clean cop. Not a bad guy. Probably going to be in the high five. He's not a bad fella. Not at all. Picking up everything off the ground today. Since you don't have to swim. Been raining about 36 hours off and on. But I'll show y'all something here. It's the prettiest color rooster in my eye. It's a half a hatch and half brown red. That's pretty much what most people's brown reds look like. But pretty much anything that's black with that lemon hackle like that's going to be carrying some hatch blood in them. That don't mean they ain't good. That don't mean they ain't real good. Uh, that old lemon hackle, though, is always a telltale sign of hatch. And what this rooster is, he's bred out of that rooster's daddy, which that's a pure grade digger over there. They got the same daddy, just this one's got a black mama and a black brown red hen. And out of this blood, right? Him, old boy over here, old big boy, get your big ass up off that ground, boy. And, uh, so that's what makes that pretty little lemon hackle. Brown red. As you cross them two families and you'll get that pretty lemon hackle chicken. It's lemon hackle black, man. My blacks are come dark or cinnamon. They don't ever come lemon pure. They'll come dark or cinnamon. That's a pure brown red guy. And that other one over there is a pure grave digger and that's what makes you. You lemon hackle. That's brown red, which is my eyes, some of the beautiful chickens in the world. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. Sure glad to see that sun come out. Let's show y'all a few more. Boys, look like they're starting to get full and feathers get hard. I'm going to have to go through them, do a few things. Another McLean cock there. Now, that ain't his water jug. He's had that under his teepee. He pulled it out. He bad about turning his water jug over, so I put him two water jugs. See, guy figured out he got one to play with. So he ain't turned the other one over. <laughs> but, uh, hey, if he wants to play with it, I'm going to let him, as long as he leaves his other water alone. <laughs> Got to be smarter than an animal sometime. And uh, that is a, I like that guy. I, I like, really like that guy. That's just one of my little McLeans. That right there is still so brown red. I like him too. Which one y'all think would be better? <laughs> now you gonna ask that question. <laughs> I have a million people. <laughs> He's always a better on a different day. Different day make a different bet. All the old timers tell you that. There's another pure brown red. I like this little guy too. I like them all though. I guess I'm a little partial too. Yes, sir. What are you doing over here? Oh, I ain't bad, though. They pop up everywhere here in East Texas, especially when it goes to rain. They try to find a heel. That's a pretty enough fall. Really do like them. Guys, I hope y'all enjoy looking at my roast as much as I do. You guys have a blessed day. I, I, I posted something about, showed a picture of Duke Cousley Pitt in a roaster and asked the question. Does anybody know why that's the perfect way to release a, a, a game cop? And I've had a lot of answers already, but I'm going to tell you all the, what I was taught as a child from the old timers. And uh, that's a textbook picture of what I was taught. But ain't nobody come up with the right answer yet. We'll see. Another little brown red. Boy. He's pretty classic guy, too. He's more of a cinnamon one. And I got a little cinnamon one. He just looked at me. The hair's going to be quiet. That cinnamon one. He's a nice guy, too. Yeah, I, like him. I really like them all. That's just me. That lemon one that I was sitting on his teepee looking at me looks like a turkey down there. That isn't a, not isn't a brown red. That's a that's a uh Sid Taylor McLean this. You see we've had a little rain. And that's a brute, sir. I promise you, that's a brute, that's a big rooster. I'm hoping he's uh, under six pounds. I got, I don't know, half a bucket full of them or something. 
quite a few of them. They all good nature, good fish with them. They get everything about them. I like them. They big. A lot of my chickens come big. Anyway, guys, y'all have a blessed day. My little piece of heaven. I just thought I'd share it with you. God bless you. Red stag having fun on this cloudy day. He's only about a year old. Really do like these guys. This is one of them half grave diggers, half brown red. He's about a year old. In my eyes, it don't get no better than that. God bless you guys. The sea is starting to get there. I think he's the furthest one along. I really like him little black red. Evening, guys. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. <clears throat> Got my new working man's version of a zero turn radius Toro. Yes, sir. My first Toro I ever had. Seems like she's gonna work out pretty well. Been out here with the boys this evening. Do a little trimming. Try to find them. I'm under that jungle. Found a few. This is one of them I found. A... Well, I really admire this little guy. Little McLean guy. A lot of people got cleans. Everybody claims they have the best. Y'all can keep all your best all up. <clears throat> Just keep mine, I'll be happy. Sure do like the looks of that. Dog. I got a bucket full of them this year. Pretty things. Anyway. <clears throat> thought I'd take y'all through a little video of the yard right quick. Another little McLean cock. He's a pretty classic guy. In my eyes too. I kind of like him. <clears throat> Not bad at all. Not in my opinion. But I had a, been seeing a lot of people have brown reds. Man, everybody's selling brown reds nowadays. Must be a popular seller. I mean, look at that Toro. Ain't that a beauty turn radius? Zero turn radius. This is what a brown red looks like. That is a brown red. That is a Wingate brown red. And that on the other side of them, there's another one. Anyway. Pretty good looking belly. Out there is a Kelso brown red cross. Now, over here is this little guy right here flopping his wing. Uh, that's a, another pure brown red. He's a little taller. And this is what pure brown reds look like. Our pure brown reds. We've had these a uh, long time before they really got even popular, and they really, uh, <laughs> and before we'd ever sell one. And we'll sell a few nowadays to the right people. Now, when you cross them, when you cross a brown red, which is about what 99.99% of the brown reds you see in our social media are, you're going to get this color. Especially when you cross them on hatch. You cross them on any hatch rooster that's got lemon hackle blood, you're going to get a pretty lemon hackle brown red. That's a beautiful, beautiful rooster. Now, well, that don't mean them roosters they sell them ain't good roosters. That just means they carry hatch blood. See that pretty bright lemon in them? When, when you take this right here and you cross it with that right there, of course, one being a hen and the other being a cock, of course, them two wouldn't cross very well with each other. I don't think they get along you'll get that, which is a beautiful rooster. and also creates monsters a lot of the time. That's one of the best crosses I've ever seen. Anyway, just a little common knowledge. That water jug ain't empty. That's the one I give him to play with because his other one, he got to where he turned one over, so I said, I'd give him two. And uh, it worked. He quit turning it over. See his other one over there? You got to be smarter than the chicken sometimes. I don't know if I'm smarter than mine or not, but uh, anyway, my little piece of heaven, my new zero turn radius Toro, and a little educational video on the brown reds and the hatch brown reds. Y'all guys have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Talking about a gentle fella, I've never picked him up maybe a few times in his life. This fella is so good. He wanted to be my friend. 
Well, Sid McLean cross cut, or the little he's gonna be pressed. Uh, he's huge. He's massive rooster. Just so massive that he's almost scary because he's that gentle. But that's the way I like my roosters to be. All these old boys on here talking about getting hit, and he won't get up my lap. Old boys on here talking about getting hit all the time. I ain't going to have that. My roosters are too big for all that. I, I gotta have them once try to pick pick the buttons off my shirt. Or go in the house and sit on TV and all that. that. That's genetics. You can't. You can generally rush and get him like that, but I promise you, these, these roosters here ain't. Rush ain't never been up in no conditioning, nothing. He ain't never had no treats, you know, as far as, you know, me trying to make him a friend. That's just genetic. They had no fear. Almost scary when you got one big as he is. He just he, he he's just like, hey dad, why you keep backing up? I'm like, because you weigh probably six pounds and would break bones. Anyway, it's a Sid McLean. Love these little fellas. They, they might. I ain't love them but I want to. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. It's been a wonderful Saturday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Hopefully one day get to spend a little more time with these guys. You know, person time for the fellas who know what I'm talking about. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. <laughs> Evening, guys. Out in the rooster yard, we can do a little uh, watering on the tackle of the ceiling on the back tackle. We got my little buddy here. I want to show him to you. He's been acting a fool. Day. <laughs> I figured I'd put him on camera for a minute or two. I want my little pure brown red rush. I really like this little guy. Like his red too. He's a pretty good little fella. I think he's gonna be. They sure are holding on to the feathers this year. Worse than that. Oh, you say, man, hey, he sure wants to get a rug. These little roosters have got. The best nature. I guess all of my chickens, I've kind of picked them because of the, their attitude. And attitude means a whole lot when you're picking your chickens, or it does to me. Uh, you learn a lot by just the way he carries himself out here on the court and things that happen. What are you doing, boy? you just going to try to get up my lap. I just want to show you him up. Rooster's got a good attitude like that. And see, I don't, I got too many roosters to pet them and play with them all the time. So, that's just natural. They just ain't scared of nothing. They don't have no fear. They ain't that double. They ain't the other end of that tie cord. See, you can look over yonder. See that stag. That's a Kelso stag. He's trying to want me to come over and play with him. And it just, when you're picking your foul, or when I'm picking my fowl, I, I look at that a whole lot. How, how am I going to get along with that rooster on a daily basis? And it's kind of like your buddies or whatever. You Everybody picks their own friends and has their own friends because they share something. Just all of, all of mine pretty much are like this. But I really do like this little guy right here. Just wanted to show him to you. He's looking at me like he wants me to come over there because he wants to get up in my lap or act a, a fool. But uh, anyway... <laughs> Y'all have a good evening, guys. God bless each and every one of you.